All right, so I just got these mud flaps from Tesla the other day, and today it started snowing and there's gonna be salt on the road, so I'm gonna put these guys on. So right when you open the box, you get this little instruction manual, you open it up, and there's literally one, two, three pages of how to put it on. Everything else is just other languages. So there's a few different things in the box. You have your hardware, you have your mud flaps, and then your splash guards, which I'm not gonna be putting these on because these are like right against the ground if you put them on. I'll have to unscrew two bolts and pull out two of these pop rivets and then replace them with whatever I have in the box and they'll be good. So here's the actual mud flap that's gonna be going on the car. And then this is the splash guard. This is what I'm not gonna be putting on just because it's gonna be so low to the ground and I don't wanna scrape it off since I live in the country. There's just two pieces of adhesive right there. And then you would just snap them on like that. And then you would assemble it all as one. But since I'm not gonna use these, I'm just gonna leave them in the box and we're just gonna put these guys on. So to get started, I'm literally just gonna hop in the car and turn the steering wheel to one side. That way it gives us some room to work. My car's being a little noisy right now, but the first thing I'm gonna do is pop these two push rivets out. I have a trim tool, it's over at my friend's house though, so I'm just gonna use this tiny, tiny flathead screwdriver. I'm just gonna get right in the little indent there and I'll just get right under that part and then pop it out. I'm gonna do the same thing for both sides. It doesn't take a lot of pressure, but just make sure that you don't scratch your paint because you know you don't want to scratch your paint. So there's one, and there's two. So I'm not gonna use these guys again unless I end up taking the mud flaps off and just wanna return it to how it was when I got it. I don't think I'm gonna do that. I will probably sell it with the mud flaps unless I get another Model 3, or I might just get new mud flaps, I don't know. And then once that's done, there is a little pop panel under here and I'll have to pop that out and unscrew the bolt that's in there and then I'll have to cut that piece off. So like I said, it's kind of hard to see that little panel under there. I can't really see it. I can feel it though. I just felt my screwdriver go into it. I'm going to pop that open like that and then I still can't see underneath it so I'm going to have to figure out what to do but I think there's a little bolt up in here that I'm going to have to unscrew. I think it's like a 10 mil or something. So I may have a time getting that out since my tools are at my friend's house, but we're gonna figure it out. I took a few pictures so you guys could tell where they're actually located um, relative to the wheel, how far underneath the card is and everything like that. So go ahead and take a look at these. Hopefully you get an idea since I can't exactly get my camera that far under the car to show you. So I couldn't find the socket because like I said, all my tools are at my friend's house. So I have this 10 mil wrench. I'm hoping I can get on it. I don't think I can. This is like super, super low to the ground. Um, wait, I really don't want to lay down on the ground because, you know, it's been snowing and there is nasty road dirt water everywhere. I think I got it though. Um, so obviously this would be easier with a socket, but if all you have is a wrench, then you can probably make it work. All right, so now that I have all of those guys out, I guess I should get my mud flap. So my mud flap is gonna line up just like that. And I know it doesn't look like a lot, but hopefully it's gonna reduce anything that might get on the back side of my car. Before I do any of that though, I have to cut this flap off. I would rather not, but that's what Tesla says to do. So I guess I gotta do it. It kind of pains me cutting my car, but ah, my eyes, uh, but that's okay. This is how big that cover is that I had to pop open and cut off and we're just gonna toss it now. So I'm gonna make sure this guy lines up underneath, which it does, I love that. So I'm gonna go ahead and push the new pop rivets in and same thing with the bolt. I got these push rivets secured. I got that bolt up in there because I found a socket that works. So now this guy is secure and there is a drain hole in the bottom. I'm not sure if you can see that water dripping out, but it looks good. It works. So now we're going to go finish up the other side. So it's been a few days and this is the driver's side. This is the one I just did in the video. As you can tell, it's done its job of keeping debris off the side of the vehicle. You can tell because there's that little glob of road debris and gravel and snow and ice. And it looks pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Here's the passenger side. I didn't feel the need to put it in the video because it's literally just the same procedure, just mirrored. There's that little clump of gravel and snow and ice and everything. It looks pretty good. It's doing its job on this side also. Here's what the splash guard looks like. It's probably just an inch off the ground. So if you live in an area that has like gravel roads or speed bumps or anything like that, and you don't want these to get ripped off, I probably wouldn't put them on. I live on a gravel driveway, so that's why I don't have these on. Although it probably would do a better job as, you know, compared to just the mud flaps. 
but I'm just gonna leave it off because this is doing just fine. I don't need anything more than that. If you guys have any questions about these, drop them down in the comments and I will hopefully be doing more Tesla accessory videos in the future.